Peggy 18. When you look at it, Splinter Cell 1 was a benchmark when it came out, and Splinter Cell 3 was probably the best looking game of the last generation of consoles. So it was extremely important for us that when we released our Splinter Cell Conviction, that it came out as strong. We came up with a bunch of things that uh, are super interesting. So the first thing that we have um, is what we called uh, projected text. So basically what we're doing is we're integrating in the environment the objectives that we're giving to the player. We'll actually be telling you what's happening or the information you wanted to know. We'll be seeing flashbacks or things projected on the walls that will explain that. So everything is integrated in the environment and it allows you to tell the story without taking the control from the player. So what San is thinking, what's happening somewhere else in the world, it's displayed while you're playing, while you're, you're, you're still immersed into the game. It's Corbin, Andre Corbin. One of the visions of never taking the controls away from the player is actually to not feel the loadings. But Sam knew Corbin was in there. You're gonna go from one location to another. We're gonna hide the loading as much as possible. From one location, the camera's gonna go in. You know, we're gonna play a movie while we're loading. Oh, you're gonna arrive in the other location, and it's all gonna be seamless. Never at a time will you be just staying there and waiting for something to happen. And another thing that we're really proud of is what we call our uh, interrogation sequences. Some people in the game, you're going to have to interrogate to move the story forward and get some information. And we've created a whole system that allows you to bash people. And also, we have a damage system. So the more you beat up the guy to get information, well, the more he's going he's gonna to show like he's, he's beaten up. It gets a little violent, but it gets the job done. We wanted to have a unity of time and location because we find that that makes it a lot more personal for players. It's more interesting story-wise because the events are, are unfolding a lot faster. So Washington was a very interesting uh, location for us because obviously it's the, it's the heart of, of the United States. Uh, it's also a very interesting location for Sam Fisher. He was working for the, the U.S. government. The idea that uh, Sam is facing his former agency home it was very interesting from a, a character perspective. We took a lot of risk when we approached the design for this. We came up with a whole uh, bunch of new design elements that have never been done before in any other game. And uh, the day that all those elements came together was fascinating. It finally allows players to feel like the most elite spy agent in the world, be in control of him, and be able to do the things that they expect he should be able to do in those situations.